Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on for some more Mono Black Zombies. Bataro with that Twitch Prime sub four months in. Thank you so much, Bataro, for that continued support. I really do appreciate that. That's going to knock our sub battle countdown down to 182. Whenever that hits zero, we're going to be taking an entire day to just battle against subs. It'll be fun. Uh, so yeah, we've played this deck a couple of times, and it's been a lot of fun. And I uh, want to try it again, especially because at the end of the last time that we played it, we talked about some changes to make in the sideboard, uh, specifically adding the Argyle's Bloodfast in over here. So I want to try this out uh, with our with our updated sideboard here and see how it works out. Um, but, you know, we're basically a Liliana deck, and Liliana is awesome. Zombies are, are awesome. This deck's a lot of fun. Yay, zombies. So let's go. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a 5-1 deck. Good call. Good call. Definitely 5-1 to finish out our, our sequence here. 5 one 3 2 3 2 5 one We've got to have our bookends be those 5-1s. We just might as well write it down right now. Okay, maybe not yet. My favorite deck currently is probably the Grixis Discard. That deck's a lot of fun to play. Have some real good games there. Three mana, three mana, three mana, three mana, three mana. I don't think we keep with four three drops. I'm mulligan. <laughs> or one five. Attack. Bant Gates. This is most likely four color gates. <laughs> creeping chill in the starting hand, just like where I like it. Especially after the mulligan. Mold to six, creeping chill in hand. Snap keep. Alright, come on, Liliana. So I can fire off the creeping chill right now, but there's also just not really a reason to. See, look at that. Now we get to use our mana on this Contempt. Perfect. I actually kind of like my opponent not knowing about the Creeping Chill. It's going to hit him. One. And two. We also... We also have the ability with like six mana, if they if they sweep our bo board, maybe we need a Creeping Chill and then pick up Gutter Bones to turn on the whatever thing. Gutter Bones so strong. Hey, what's up, Yud? Hope you had a good day at work today. All right, so Duress is usually pretty good against gate decks. That Vrass's Contempt we drew was pretty, pretty well-timed. Maybe I just keep it like this and try to just kill my opponent. This looks pretty good. I don't really see anything that's that bad. Kind of like our, our deck. I mean, we could take out chills. Nah. Let's get him. Let's get him, Hawkeye. Okay? Let's get him. Eh, our opponent can have sweepers. Whatever, we got Midnight Reaper. We'll draw. We'll just draw some cards. One land. I still have, remember I still have four drill bits in right now. So I'm just not adding in. I'm just not adding in duresses as well. I still have four discard spells in. Oh yeah. Creeping chill is awesome in uh, modern dredge. Let's see if we get any chills here. Tell our opponent to chill out. Uh, no chills. No chills. Ah. 
This is why Death Baron's great. Gives all of our things death touch. They can't even block anymore. So as long as our opponent doesn't have a blaze. Tilt. Alright, tell him to chill. Alright, no chills. No, the next card! Uh, that's not where you're supposed to be, Creeping Chill. The next card. Alright, turn three ram, turn four a blaze on the play. That can get us. Wait, so you're, you're doing that after you attacked? Alright. So I could play a couple cast downs, I guess, for these rams. I guess I should play that instead of chill. I do like chill though. All right, all right. <laughs> Fine, we'll play a couple duresses and stuff. Hmm. They don't want to get the most power out there. Turn two, they can't really do a whole lot of stuff. Whoa. Four ablaze? Are you kidding me? Are you... Not kidding me, because that's that's a lot. It's a lot of those. It always seemed like our opponents had four ablaze. So do I take two of them now? Or do I just take... I need to draw Liliana. Liliana's our best draw. You hear that deck? I need a Liliana. The problem with playing the Baron plus the Ghoul is those get eaten by the Ablaze and then the, the Marshal gets eaten by the Ablaze. And then I have nothing. I, think I, I want them to try to just get, you know, I'm playing pretty greedy here, just trying to get the Ablaze on just this Ghoul here. I guess I can force 
All right, so if I go Baron here, attack for three, take one ablaze, they have to ablaze the others, and then I have Marshall. Otherwise, I just drill bit. Yeah, I guess I'm going to do that. Then Marshall will be lethal. Oh yeah, or Creeping Chill. Yeah, now Creeping Chill's lethal. Which I do have. I have three Creeping Chills still in the deck. Seed? No ram, no ram. Or 8-8. Eight, eight. Neither of those. Come on. A fifth sweeper? We got five sweepers? Uh. Uh. Because even if they just played a creature there, I was at least going to be able to marshal, get a, a zombie, start going wide with the marshal. Like, I was going to be able to start going wide. So, basically, creeping chills are out here. Gotta draw creeping chill. Okay, Liliana. That's good. That's a good one. Hit a chill. Well, come, chill! Well, they aren't useful to me alive. Chill! Take action. Boom. Creeping chill is sweet. Liliana's great. The zombies are great. We beat five sweepers. They had four blazes and a deafening clarion, and they died. <laughs> that wasn't chill at all. Ooh, what a game. What a game. Alright, Mulligan. I've had a Mulligan a lot here. There's another one lander. Okay, that's a start. Espa. All right, if we just hit land drops, we can do okay. You know, Midnight Reaper and Liliana are awesome against Esper. What's this thing flying around? Got to hit our land drops though. Love it. You gonna absorb that? I'm not absorbing it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I just think my my opponent probably absorbs that Midnight Reaper. I don't know if we need to just like play into their absorb like that. Whoa! Main phase, draw three. If only Death Touch worked on players. Contempt on that thing? Nice. 
Not the Midnight Reaper? I wish I would hit the fourth land to be able to play Liliana here. Our opponent's getting pretty close to Creeping Chill range. They're in Creeping Chill warning sign. Didn't even need it. Alright, all these duresses, the blood fast. And we go Spyglass Reborn. And then cut chill and supplier. I don't know about this reborn. Would I rather have one chill in my deck? Or one reborn? That's probably reborn. Thing is like if they just like play a Lyra Dawnbringer, we usually die. So it's kinda good to have a few answers for uh Lyra Lyra. What does Creeping Chill do? It makes your opponent lose three life and you gain three life. Sometimes for four mana, sometimes for zero mana. Alright, what deck do we just play? Naya Hwatli. Alright, let me finish out this YouTube video for Naya Hwatli. Ooh, love it. I love this hand all the way down to the bones. Attack. If our opponent plays Cry the Canarium, they're a jerk. They are a very, very big jerk. So I was going to be playing both Marshall and Ghoul, but whenever they cast Insight there, then it's just pretty likely they're just going to have a Sweeper. And I, I didn't want, again, I didn't really want Midnight Reaper to get um, countered. Yeah, if they just didn't have Cry the Carnarium on turn three, it would... It's only been a lot easier for us. I was gonna say, do they play Settle also? How many how many sweepers does our opponent really need? Let's slow. We need to move quickly. To ferry down. Still not in a very good spot, though. I really should have seen that coming. Liliana's our best card. Could really use some Liliana's. I mean, Liliana's just our kind of our best card in this matchup. It's the card we want to draw the most. Liliana. Yeah, they could have another sweeper. But if I just like sit around all day, 
I don't really love where, where I'm at anyway, so might as well put some pressure out there. A lot of these chemistries in sight. Okay, we need you, Liliana. Duress. Double Absorb. How about a win against Double Absorb? Is it possible to win? Ah, uh, Ditch and Absorb. Come on, opponent. <laughs> Thanks, Fear the Monkey. Yes, the Immortal sounds pretty good against Esper. Us having 6 mana is not easy. We're a 22 land deck. They want Thief of Sanity in this matchup? Why the hell is that card in their deck? What are you doing? You have to cast, like, Cry of the Carnarium and Kaya's Wraths all the time, and you just want a Thief of Sanity in your deck? Like, what are you going to have? Like, Thief of Sanity in your opening hand and then just Wrath it away? Or just be a dead card until you've already stabilized and you've already won the game? People bring in Thief of Sanity way too much. This hand kind of sucks, but we'll try it. Yeah, yeah playing against an, an Esper opponent that does not bring in Thief of Sanity is... So, so, so rare. That's the word I was looking for. So rare. <laughs> Any real Esper player shouldn't be even playing Thief of Sanity. You're a faker if you run a. If you play a creature. Liliana, please, can we draw Liliana? If we just draw Liliana, we win. Most likely. Can we ever draw that card? Sack that. All on the floor, sack that. Get that hostage taker in the graveyard. Hmm. Too many, too many syllables. We need to work on that. Love it. Love it. Not killing my creatures. Ooh, and Liliana. Love it. Go, Lily, go! Go, Lily, go! <laughs> Ooh, that's two life. Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. <laughs> Thanks, Juki. Yep, here every day. And Friday, we're doing a 12 hour stream for hitting a quick goal earlier. Thanks, y'all, for supporting my sponsors. Supporting my sponsors is a great way to support the channel as well. <laughs> That's too light. I have a deliciously morbid idea. We had to get more Liliana voice lines in here. Hey, Cho making a purchase, or Chow, Chow making a purchase with movement. There you go. Thank you so much, Chow. So, both Quip and Movement, if you use the referral link there, you also get a free donation deck. So, Chow, anytime you want a donation deck, just let me know. No expiration dates. If you ever have a deck uh, that you want me to play, and you know you can save it till you know next format, all that kind of stuff. If you ever have a deck you want me to play, just let me know. Movement is a company that makes watches and sunglasses. Like this is a, a nice 
watch here for movement, for example. This nice blue and brown. This is their classic blue-brown. I have a referral link to get 15% off any purchase there through them. So there you go. Using my referral link there and coupon code Todd Stevens MTG. Ooh, double chill. Look up in the sky. It's a double chill. Hmm. I mean, I kind of want to keep. It's, you know, like three swamps, four spells, but it's pretty awkward. Yeah, it's probably just not good to mulligan it. I do, I do not want to be playing against Sultai, for example. This would be a terrible hand against Sultai. Okay, I like I like Island. Terra Manor, not so much. All right, Yud says we need to add some new music. All right, let's see what we got here. Attack. Daniela. Perfect. Or at least we got two lands off the top. Waticus, hey Todd, have you played Selesnia tokens recently? Not not specifically Selesnia tokens. Nayef Watli is very, very close to Selesnia tokens. It's basically the same deck splashing red. I don't think we're going to really resolve Creeping Chills anytime soon. It's unfortunate that both of these things are dying. What do y'all think? Y'all like the song? Should this be... I'm liking the song. Should this be in the playlist? I could definitely add this to the playlist. Rude. We still have two zombies, so we can go Liliana minus two to kill Let's the Tempest Gen. So sorry to give you a fright. And Terramander's only a one-one. Another Gen. Uh, typical. Don't get squeamish on me. This is not good. Our Liliana didn't even mill over a creature to make them lose two life and us gain two. Actually, try next time. Mm. 
another trickster? Stop. You can kneel if you like. Don't think we're winning this game. No, nah, like we're just not winning this game. Tricksters have really hurt. Tricksters are one of their very best cards in like the the racing situations. Uh, and the aggro mirrors, which which is like what we have here. Trickster and Tempest Gen. Like those are probably their two best cards and had a lot of those. whole lot of those. So they're down to two cards. We st still a little ahead on the race, you know, like they get to take the lead here. How can I do 12? I'm just not going to be able to. Let's go to the next game. Let's get these cast downs in. Um, I think I like Duress as well. So this is kind of weird. Like, Creeping Chill is not bad in this matchup. Like, this is... Like, that can certainly help the race for us. I could see Ritual of Soot doing some good things as well. I don't really know what I'm what I'm taking out though. Hmm. Like if I want, like do I want like the eight discard spells? Yeah, I can take out contempt. Maybe I do just take out chill and supplier, kind of like always. Play this moment of craving as well. I'm gonna go down to three Midnight Reaper, two moment. All right, let's try this. We're on the play. We earned that one. I guess I'm just duressing on turn one, since I already have like a turn two and turn three play. I got a lot of creatures. Three one drops and a trickster. Well, we can outrace those. Trickster is really, really annoying though. It doesn't just block. It, Trickster does just take out Graveyard or Death Baron and block Graveyard Marshal. So I'm not attacking here. Because the attack just just makes their trickster a lot better. So they just want to like sit sit there and hold up the two mana the whole time, while I continue to play other things. Okay.
doing the best I can. Good, no Tempest Jin. That's a good sign. I have another trickster. Please don't have another trickster. I did have another trickster. Nice. I didn't even play it. Hey, this zombie deck's pretty sweet. Okay, what do you think of the zombie deck? Is it your favorite? None of these are wizards. Merfolk warriors and salamander drakes. So wizards retort. Do not need to worry about that. No, I do not like the idea of adding more Cabal Stronghold at all. Another trickster? Stop. Alright, at least we draw two cards. No, definitely not Memorial. Don't you really can't afford a tap lane. Like this is a very aggressive deck. You gotta you gotta have your like your one, two, and three be a bunch of swamps. Like you can't you have to be able to play your one drop and you wanna play multiple two drops and stuff, especially like drill bits. Okay. Game three. Where we are on the draw. This is the difficult game to win. Let's see how we do. Yeah, they've had seven tricksters in in two games. That means zero tricksters now for this game. Zero. They're done. They can't have another trickster. That's the rules. You can't have more than seven tricksters in a match. That seven's all you get. So at least we know they don't have trickster. But the problem with them not having trickster is that means they're probably going to have like Curious Obsession and Tempest Gin and like these other cards that are going to be difficult to beat. So I would like a turn one Duress here to take their Curious Obsession in their hand. Thank you. Because they're playing like a 56 card deck right now, basically, because they can't draw the Tricksters. Those those four are all at the bottom. Um, let's just let's get a creature down. I don't have a creature down. I guess we don't need to take the Obsession right away. We'll whack him with this ghoul and then go uh, dress drill bit. DJ Polly B says, hey Todd, go Mariners. That's right, go to last place, Mariners, behind the Rangers. I need the four I need that fourth place Texas Rangers. <laughs> but thanks, DJ Polly B. Thanks for that resub yet again. That brings our sub countdown down to 181. Entrancing Melody, Entrancing Melody. I mean, I, I do need to take this Obsession. Don't draw a land. Draw an obsession. Rude. Rude.
So, so they got Melody and Retort. They're kind of forced to Melody. And then I play Midnight Reaper. And then we just stare at each other. I'm not in a great spot. TBH. So you just trade, I draw one card. Not a lot of cards, just one. Hmm, I guess. So when they would play a creature there and then I would cast down their creature and then they would Wizards Retort my cast down, and then I'd be able to untap and use the Ritual of Six uh, before playing the Graveyard Marshal. And then good thing we don't have to worry about Trickster, because we've already determined that they have their four Tricksters down at the bottom of the library. Uh, no, I'm not at, I won't be at the Mythic Invitational. Attack. I don't think it's really even worth it to cast this drill bit, honestly. Like, not right now. Like, if there's, like, something, you know, like, give them a couple more turns to find a counter spell kind of thing. Hmm. Never mind. You're welcome, Dr. K. Alright, so casting the drill bit last turn, you know, obvi obviously would have been better than not casting it. But that's still lethal. And we are moving on to 3 and 0 oh for zombies. Mono black Zom Bays. Pick up another win. So we've beaten Esper, Mono Blue, and whatever whatever other deck we beat the first time. Yeah, this deck's sweet. Alright, we are three and oh. Two to go. All right, in between games here, if you're newer to the channel, I wanted to remind, well, maybe not even remind you, but let you know of an awesome deal that I have with Harry's, one of my sponsors, Harry's Razors. Very good. They make uh, really nice German engineered razors. Their starter pack is usually $13 with free shipping to US, Canada, UK. But you can get it for only $3 using my referral link and coupon code. So how it works is it's usually $13. If you sign up for a, um, uh, whatever it's called, if you sign up for the subscription, there you go, that's the word. Sign up for a subscription, it's you get $5 off, so it's only $8. That subscription is cancelable anytime. So, you, uh, if, yeah, so no, you're not, um, you know, committing to anything there. And then also, if you use my referral link there and coupon code ToddStevensMTG, you get another $5 off. So only $3 free shipping. It's just, it's just free. It's basically free. It's just 3 bucks. Get yourself a really nice razor. And then it also helps support the channel, too. So go ahead and get that. Uh, even if you don't need it yourself, you can get it for a gift for somebody else. Cast down, double sabotage, bolus. Let's take this cast down here. Hope we hit this land drop for this Death Baron. 
Dang, we did not get there. Why is Gutter Bones better than Reassembling Skeleton? Because it costs one mana and has two power. That is miles better than two mana and one power. As you noticed here, playing this on turn one, we have been able to be hitting our opponent right away. Okay, Ch Chow, thank you so much. Love some edits before you play the deck, okay. Any, any specific day that you'd like me to play it? Like, do you want me to play it tomorrow? Man, we've been really unlucky this game, just not getting to our third land ever. I'm pretty unfortunate there. We still have three Creeping Chills in the deck. We could get really lucky with the Stitcher Suppliers and mill over a bunch of Creeping Chills. All right, we know that they're gonna counter whatever I play. It's kind of odd they're willing just to take that. All right, they're down to five. That's two creeping chills. I have defeated death. Uh, looks like Liliana will resolve if we draw this one land. I guess I can I can contempt their bolus though as well. Death amusing. Hmm. Contempt or Liliana? I guess they're just down to one card. Is that your contempt? attack dream eater so we just need supplier to hit one creepy we need one of these suppliers to hit a creeping chill out of these top six cards so that Liliana's tick up just finishes them off with them being at two so they went over summit thought erasure eldest reborn and kept the fourth card on top. 
All right, creeping chills. Where are they at? Come on. There's no chills in this deck. This deck has no chill. No chill, Hawkeye. So they kept their card in hand. Is it a counter spell? Is it another Dream Eater? No, oh, they kept that card. Not card in hand. They, they kept that one on top. It's something that they liked. It's something they wanted. Out of the seven spots, out of the top seven, that was the worst spot for this Creeping Chill to be. Come on, Liliana. You can do it. I do one person's trash is another woman's army. All right, down to three. I dare you to try that again. Chill. I value moral. Flexibility. They're at one. They have to attack Liliana. No! I say they just draw a brick. I was going to say, they have to attack Liliana and have something to block Midnight Reaper. And now that happens. Oh, Alright, come on, chill. For you. It's not a chill, it's not a chill. Let's go wide. Time to go wide. New strat. Going wide. Draw land? I guess Bolus does something. What does Bolus do? Not very much. He can do something. I don't think there's anything that good to return. My side, I just got like a creature. So I have to tick up and draw two and hope to hit something. The multiverse is at my disposal. So we're down to 22 cards in our library with all the self milling. We got two chills still. Ooh, opponent picked it up. Attacking my hand. Here, attack the pen. Don't attack me. Attack the pen. So we're going to bring in these duresses. They're playing what? Grixis? Grixis stuff? Elder Born's really good against Grixis. Meow, 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 meow. What if I don't sideboard? Yeah, I guess the suppliers didn't really do anything. All right, going down to the same thing we did against Esper, taking out the um, suppliers and, and one chill. Yes. Uh, there's bolus is two different cards when you're when you're going with spyglass. You can either name uh, Nickel Bolus the Ravager and pre prevent it from transforming, or if it's already transformed, you can name Nickel Bolus the the Ar Arisen. That sounds like a word. Alright, 
So, if I... I'm leaning with the bones. I mean, that's just the best play to leave with the bones. They can't play a Nazcanta here, which would be annoying. Or, you know, a Thought Erasure, but Thought Erasure is just kind of whatever. The bones never die. Everybody loves their Thief of Sanity. No! Oh, can't wait for my opponent to start milling over my Creeping Chills with the Thief of Sanity. Just gonna kill them. Just don't draw a red source. Do not draw red. Thief is whatever. Don't draw red, though. I can outrace Thief. Alright, come on, land. Dang it. I really wanted this land for the Liliana. Liliana would have been nice. Alright, come on, hit some chills. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill, chill. This is uh, Billy Gorgon, Corgan of the uh, Smashing Pumpkins. No. I guess they can't just play Bolas. Ooh, they found my other contempt. All right, so hit them for five. They go to three. Three life. Chill. Chill lefty dubs. Nice Thief of Sandy. We're still at 17. After you hit us a bunch with Thief of Sandy. Alright, we're 4 0 with Mono Black Zombies. And we are on to the final boss. Dude, Chill's been winning us games. That card's great. Get your final boss emotes out there. Let's get some hype. Here we go. Final boss playlist. Switching playlists. <laughs> Zombie and chill. Zombies and chill. <sighs> Let's go. a good hand. Really well timed drill bit here on turn two. Just want to draw two lands. If we just hit our third and fourth land drops, we'll be looking solid. Oh, Hallowed Fountain. Be thy name. Don't have a chance. Can't beat the drill bit. Alright, cast down, Mortify, Teferi, Teferi, Contempt. They have no black mana. No black mana. It's interesting. Should probably take one of these two removal spells, like Cast Down or Mortify. I, I kind of want to take Contempt, even though they don't have any black mana, just because Contempt will eventually answer this Liliana, but I guess these Teferis do as well. I guess I'll just take the Cast Down. Don't do it. Okay, good. No black mana still. And we drew our swamp for Liliana. Clutch. Well, since they don't have removal yet, let's just pump these things up. Pump it up. Get these skeletons. Real big. And there we go. Game one. Nice and quick. Duress. Spyglass. Reborn. Bloodfast. Chill supplier. Done. I predict if our opponent 
casts zero spells again that we will win. Oh yeah, here comes the Thief of Sanity, absolutely. Gotta watch out for it. Without fail, Thief of Sanity coming in. They were like, oh, they they just had creatures on the ground. I'll just play a Thief of Sanity while those creatures on the ground kill me. Instead of, you know, having removal for those creatures on the ground. Good hand. And also you can't block with can't block with Eva Sanity because that card's too valuable. Mortify and contempt. Oh, they even have two black still? No, the cha yeah, I thought they had two black. Okay, there it was, that chapel was. Still want to, want to draw my own Liliana. We, we do need another land though. Love it. Didn't get that land. Oh, that would have been so good after they wasted a contempt when they have Mortify. That would have been so good. Just slam that Liliana. Good news is we know they have no car no spells in hand. Bad news is we have a duress that doesn't do anything. They gotta be like out of contempts, right? They're third? Gotta be out of contempts. Finally! Liliana to the rescue! It's mill over some zombies. Not pirates, zombies. Into the grave with you. Ugh, land, land, bloodfast. Those aren't zombies. I like that we're not drawing the lands, at least. Yeah, the minus three could we could cast Marshall and Death Baron. Well, we don't have the mana. Don't get squeamish on me. <laughs> no zombies, still. No. All right, let's get our cards. Ah, I feel like my old self again. Reinforcements. I think that's game. We'll see if we'll see if Liliana hits him. I mean, Liliana has to hit him, right? We ha we've missed on zombies so much here. Okay, here we go. You ready, Hawkeye? We're gonna take up this Liliana and win. You ready, Hawkeye? Here you go. We need your help. 
All right, we need your luck. Okay, he's focused. You're focused? Here we go. Focus over here. Into the grave with you. You did it! Good job, Hawkeye. We won. Five zero with mono black zombies. Way to go, Hawkeye. We got our 2100 gold, 40 gems. This deck is the zombie's knees. And it's not like we beat, uh, it's not like we just like played against a bunch of bad decks. We played against Esper Control twice, Grixis Control, Mono Blue, and something else. I, I do think we have a good control matchup, as you can probably tell. What was our first... What did we play against the first round? I don't remember. But... Yeah, I don't remember what we played against. Gates. That's right. We played against Gates. Yeah. Yeah, so Gates... Which is kind of a control deck. And oh, and that's right. In our gates, game three, our opponent played what? Five sweepers? They had all four gates of blazes and a deafening clarion against us. Yeah, that's right. And we still won that game. Because creeping chill is awesome. We got them like down to three and creeping chilled them. So yeah, the deck deck worked out pretty well. So, I don't think our deck is too too good against, like, the, the red decks. You know, like, we're just going to be slower and everything. The red decks would, would kind of beat us up. Uh, you know, our sideboard helped out a little bit with, like, Moment of Craving and stuff. And uh, Sultai is not that bad of a matchup. Like, Death Baron, given all your stuff, Death Touch really does a whole lot of work. And, you know, Liliana can can do a lot of work in that kind of matchup too. Obviously, if they have like turn two Wild Growth Walker and then just explore the rest of the game, obviously you're probably not winning there. But we've beaten Soul Time more, more, more times than we've lost to it with this deck so far. Uh, you know, like Drill Bit helps that matchup quite a bit. It gets, it gets pretty grindy. <clears throat> hey, Guru. So there we go. Yeah, the 5-0 dream. Let me update this over here. So yeah, if you want a, a fun zombies deck for like FNM and stuff, this is a good one. You have a lot of like Esper control players in your metagame. We certainly did pretty good against control there uh, during this league, and this could be a good option for you. So there we go. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I hope you hit that subscribe button over there. If you're here in chat, if you ever want to see any of the replays, please go follow the YouTube channel over there. Todd Steven, or sorry, youtube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG is the link over there. But thanks for watching Mono Black Zombies. I'll see you for the next video.